Okay, so Chris Smalling over committed forward, so that's good. We're gonna use his shadow chemistry style here to see if he reaches top speed. Nice little tackle right there. Possession based tackle. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Chris Smalling's card to review today. Uh, this one specifically, we're gonna have to give him a shadow card right off the bat. Uh, I will not be able to try out this card without it because of the pace that I saw in the card. So with the shadow chemistry style, we're looking at a card who is six foot four with medium high work rates, three star weak foot with two star skill moves. Um, you know, he's got the link ups with the English nationality and the Syria. We're looking at a card that has plus 15 in the acceleration with um, the shadow chemistry style and a plus 10 in the sprint speed. So we're looking at a card that's going to have 82 acceleration, which is drastically increased from what he had before and then we're also going to have him with the plus 10 which is the sprint speed which is very important his agility and balance is not there so what we're going to check out specifically is whether or not this card can transition left and right and accelerate into the play quickly i do think we're going to have a situation here where it's going to be basically like a char 2.0 or a share 2.0 from newcastle where his acceleration into play is not going to be the best, but he could be very, very solid defensively. So that's what we have to try out on the card in regards to seeing uh, whether or not he is worth it. Chris Smalling has been having a very good season so far this year. So, you know, if he gets any sort of inform uh, or, you know, Roma wins four games in a row, this card with a boost would look very, very nice, right? So his physical, not too concerned about the jumping, considering the fact that he is a six foot four player. So he's going to be huge in game. Um... You know, the 71 stamina also doesn't bother me because I don't really feel like center backs really push up. If it was like a 65, then it would bother me. But like I said, these headliner cards are all based off of uh, allowing the teams to win those four games, uh, which Roma, I think, can do in the Serie A. And if he could potentially get an inform, which in my opinion... He could personally get like one, right? I do think Chris Smalling will get a team of the season. But as you guys know, team of the season is usually near the end of the year anyway. So it just depends on how you guys want to play the game. The team to make him with is an 83 rated team with an inform. So we're going to be checking out the actual price of the card afterwards. But this is how we're going to be lined up in game. Just a bunch of players that were just chilling in my club uh, so that we can do the review with them. Uh, the way that the custom tactics is set up for this team in particular is going to be the 4-2-3-1 setup where Chris Smalling will be playing as the center back uh in the team in the left center back position i actually need to check to see if he specifically has that four star weak foot because if he doesn't uh then it's not really going to be a big deal joe gomez also the same with the three star so if he had a four star weak foot it'd be preferable to play him in that left center back position with that four star weak foot but it's not going to be uh, a big deal. Again, these are just guys that were just chilling on my team. It's all about getting those chemistry links with these players. Uh, in regards to the 4 2 3 1 system, like I said, he's going to be playing as my left center back in this game. So, uh, yeah, let's see how he plays. Hopefully, hopefully, he's a very good player. Even in the picture, this guy looks huge. All right, so let's see what his movement is going to be on the ball because that's, for me, a very important thing. Okay, so the dribbling is not going to be that responsive, but you can see that the thing about this card is that he's actually huge in game. Look at how tall this guy is, right? Six foot four is definitely a very noticeable thing with him. Um, I definitely just want to see what his general movement on the ball is like. Uh, it's not necessarily the fastest, even when he does skill moves, it's not necessarily the greatest. So as a center back, it's not going to be a super fast uh, center back, but uh, yeah, we're going to see what he's like defensively when this guy attacks. Yeah, for a center back, it's 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 a center back. You don't expect center backs to be crazy good at dribbling. It's just a variable of a card uh, that you would like for it to be better, but it's just not. Um, so we're just gonna keep giving this guy the ball here uh, to let him attack while we are ultra attacking because I need to uh, to see what defensively Chris Smalling is like. A little pressure there, Smalling. The pressure is what made him uh, lose the dribble right there. I overcommitted in that general position, but he did really well to uh, to compensate the over dribble or the over uh, the over uh, commitment there with Smalling. Good tackle from behind there with Smalling, very well. That was really nice. The tackles from behind is like a big thing in FIFA nowadays, um, so it's good that he was actually able to do a great one there. He's got long reach, right? So that height that he has is going to be a significant difference. 
I'm gonna go overcommit Joel Gomez. There we go. Now Chris Smalling has all these options right here. See what he's like with the reach here. Yeah, doesn't doesn't accelerate well into the play. He does not accelerate well into the play. So that's gonna be a uh, Char 2.0 where his massive physical presence is what's gonna be the deciding factor of this card being great or bad. And so far, you know, the the reach part of his card is very noticeable. Um, but that acceleration part where he has to get into the play when someone makes a runner behind him and stuff, and this general dribbling like this, um, isn't necessarily the best. Alright, this is perfect. Let's see what Chris Mong is like here against Vardy with that pace. Bring him down, don't touch the ball, wait for the tactical to get over with, and then that's his physical presence right there to get ahead of the ball. So, um, uh, we do a nice little foul there because, you know, you could get a tactical yellow. You know, because it could be a tactical foul in that general position. Um, he does actually tackle the man, which is good. Because, you know, Vardy could get into a good position, could score a good opportunity. Uh, we might not even get a yellow card for that, actually. And uh, his his general uh, physical presence to get back into the play to tackle the ball there was very good. Alright, we're going to watch this run here. Keep watching that run there. There we go. This is perfect defending here. A little tackle here. Good. Possession-based tackle, and then he fouls me. Nice. He doesn't... I, I like when center backs don't do the tackle where they kick the ball out of play. He kind of just, like, commits a small little tackle right there just so that he can get possession of the ball, which I like a lot there. Okay, so Chris Smalling overcommitted forward, so that's good. Going to use his shadow chemistry style here to see if he reaches top speed. Nice little tackle right there. Possession-based tackle, and he does the auto-clearance. The auto-clearance is not necessarily something that I wanted to do, but... Uh, so far, his possession-based tackling has been very good. We're overcommitting a lot of players here because I want to see what he does in different situations. And so far, he's uh, he's doing all right. Good little tackle there again. So possession-based tackling. So that's very good of him right there. I want to overcommit the center back here so I can give more more play here to Chris Smalling. His play in general in that position was very slow. So you can see that his his stock and physical presence to chase after the ball is not the best. You can definitely notice that his base uh, acceleration of 67 is being a very noticeable thing so far right now. All right, so game three, we're going to overcommit again. Let's see what's up here. Joe Gomez, we're going to put out a position. There we go. So I want to defend against all of these different guys right here. And uh, that block in general wasn't necessarily the best. I don't like that he, he kind of makes his, his body kind of skinny right there. To, to block that certain opportunity. The good center backs, what they'll do is uh, they'll kind of just put their whole body in front of that. So not necessarily the greatest of uh, defensive plays from him there. That's a very disappointing one because I did block that general area uh, with his card. But that is also like a random animation that can, uh, that can happen. So not always the player's fault because even the best center backs in the game can do that. But mo they mostly will put their entire body. They won't make their, their body like... Um, I guess like a skinny presence, if that makes sense, right? Alright, so we're going to leave Chris Smalling in a situation like that. It's very generic defending right there, nothing too special. You can give the ball back to him again. Alright, so Chris Smalling transitioning back. When he reaches top sprint speed, he's okay. It's, it's just his acceleration that isn't good, which I think in, in general, acceleration in FIFA is more important than the sprint speed. Like, if you're going to choose between uh, both of them, you definitely want to have the acceleration more than the sprint speed because acceleration is what allows you to get into the play quickly in regards to attacking and dribble and defending. So let's see what he come, comes up with here. So that's what it is right there. See how his acceleration is not the best, but it's his sprint speed that allows him to, to reach that top speed, um, which is a generic thing, you know, like my Joe Gomez probably could have caught up with that card as well. So nothing too crazy right there either. Alright guys, so final verdict on the card. He's a pretty generic center back, right? But he is also 30k. It's Chris Smalling. You get some English links with your teams. Uh, you know, you can use him for the fun concept of a Serie A center back. But I do really, really think he's super generic. Now, because he is a headliners card, what you would have to focus on with this card is the fact that, you know, if he gets informs, he gets upgraded from his informs. I guess it's a high, it's a one-up version of that inform card. And he does get those boosts. Chris Smalling, for me specifically, needs the agility, balance, and acceleration boost the most because his 
really sloppy presence in the game is is not necessarily something that you want to have if you want to consider someone a very good center back. Like it's not on the level of like a Diego Carlos or even a rare gold uh, Ether Millie Town because that specific aspect of a card will always be very noticeable. If you do end up using this card, I highly suggest playing on very low depth because if you play on high depth and he has to catch up to someone to get the ball back, he's not going to be the best at doing that. But if you play on low depth where it's all about positional awareness with this card, I think he'll be a very good center back because of how tall he is. The little opportunity where, you know, he had like a skinny stature to let the ball go through, that's just a general animation that can happen to any center back. But, you know, when you use the higher up center backs, they do mostly, you know, just use their entire body to cover the ball. So it could have just been a very unlucky animation with the card. But it is a card that is 30k, 30k SBC. You know, it's, uh, it's entirely up to you if you guys want to do it. It's a very generic card, but... It is also a card that gives you links in certain positions because you can even see in this team right here, if I have a Joe Gomez, a Fabian Delph, and then a left back English card, you know, I can use Kenton and team, Sancho and team, have some fun with that. But uh, yeah, I did think that he was uh, pretty generic in game. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the review. I will see you guys for the next episode, whichever card that may be. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.